Good evening. Here is the Lagos State News at 7. I am Taiwo Barua. Lagos State Governor Babaji Desaulu has officially launched the Lagos Rail Mass Transit Red Line for commercial operations. Governor Sonwulu joined the train on a ride from Oyibo Station at 20 minutes past 5 in the evening to Ikeja, accompanied by members of the State Executive Council, the Managing Director of the Lagos Area Metropolitan Authority, Lamata, Abimbola Kiajo, and the other stakeholders in the entertainment sector. Governor Sonwulu noted that the red line will reduce travel time, boost productivity, and make life easier for residents of the state. The governor who urged Lagosians to take advantage and own the infrastructure said additional coaches of the blue and red rail lines will be available next year. And everybody has a right to protect it. It's not me protecting it. It's not Lamata, but it's all of us protecting it. And so when you're in the train, it's you correcting other train users that you have a train journey once you leave another person is using it so keep the place clean keep it safe you know leave a serene environment so that other passengers can come in and utilize it passengers who joined the train from Wimbu station commended the Songwulu administration for the steps to ensuring an integrated intermodal transportation initiatives put in place for the benefit of residents with assurance that 2,000 compressed natural gas buses are underway. Our correspondent Adia Lakinili reports that there are eight stations on the corridor in Uyibu, Yaba, Mushi, Oshodi, Keja, Gige, Iju, and Agbado in Ogun State with a maximum of six trips at the first instance beginning from six o'clock in the morning. The Lagos State Government has pledged support for the Nigerian Immigration Service, NIS, on border security and management. Governor Babaji de Sonwulu made this pledge when he received the Comptroller General of Immigration, Kemi Nana Nandap, at the Lagos House Marina. Governor Sonwulu, who congratulated the Comptroller General in her, on her appointment, commended the various initiatives and ideas put in place under her leadership to strengthen the activities of the NIS. And this is a responsive and a responsive. In about a year, um, Nigerians have actually felt, you know, um, your interventions. Nigerians have actually felt all of the very creative and very strategic initiatives, you know, that you've actually done. And, and let's say it, you know, um, you are one of, you know, the shining lights. Earlier, the Comptroller General of Immigration, Kemi Nandap, said she is on a southwest border tour starting from Lagos in Seme Idiroko to monitor the operational activities at the border, as well as officers and men of NIS. We've invested in technology, so we have a lot of e border. You know technology now facilities at our borders especially the unmanned area so we have also we've deployed the e-gate we also have the api and the pnr we also have the um, we've also built our command and control system and what that does is and we also have a data center system as well and that is even a tier four it's at a tier four level she noted that Lagos, as the economic hub of the nation, has a huge borderline, including on the land, sea, and waterways. Hence, its strategic importance of her visit was a call on Governor Sangwulu and to continue to support operations of NRS offices for improved productivity. Our correspondent, Adia Lakinele, reports that Governor Sangwulu also received the Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos, Professor Fulasha Diogmushola, and the management team of the institution, where he describes the establishment of additional universities in the state as not just a responsibility, but a beacon of vibrant future, future for tertiary institutions. A two-day physical planning summit is kicked off in Lagos State to ensure the state's growth guided by sustainable, inclusive and innovative planning principles. While declaring the summit open at Victoria Island, Governor Babajide Sonwulu, who called for 
collaborative effort among stakeholders describes the theme of the event as apt and pivotal to reshape in the future of a mega city and envisioning how truly a smart city should be without minding the strict enforcement of the implementation process. Governor Somalu urged town planners to be creative and take the front lead to ensure their activities are done in line with international best practices in the best interest of the people for actualization of the Themes Plus agenda of making Lagos a 21st century mega city. And this is a responsive and a responsible government. We take all the points, we take all the issues. Our commitment is to continue to ensure that the ease of doing business improved upon the demands that will not kill investors, will not kill investment, will not drive away funding. The State Commissioner for Physical Planning and Urban Development, Oluye Kaolumidi, said the summit is aimed at better positioning the state for investment as proposed in the operative development plans. ODPs with expert in urban planning residence development partnership, legal and policy analysis, risk management, project finance and governance to explore operations available for implementation of the ODPs for sustainable development. We must leverage our successes to overcome our challenges. We owe it to ourselves, to our children, to future generations, to the future us in the United States. Earlier, the keynote speaker, former Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashala, identified the important roles of town planners and economic planners in envisioning low how the city's environment will evolve and how the nature's assets are utilized for prosperity and growth of the state without any inconvenience to residents. Fashala, who commended the giant strides of the Songulu administration, called on government to expedite action on the completion of a waste collector and recycling plant, Ulushusun Adeon Water Projects, Phase 2 more housing projects and reclaim the BRT while expanding waterways, transportation and embracing sport and entertainment sectors as panacea to the problem of youth unemployment in the country. If the town planner decides on these critical development plans, including rail, as Lagos State has commendably done, it is the responsibility of the economic planner to put numbers to them. This will form the basis to put it year to year that the finance team and the Treasury Department have to raise money for. The Lagos Physical Planning Summit is themed Rethinking Lagos, an innovation for a regional and integrated megacity with various stakeholders from the built sector and partners in attendance. The Lagos State Government has opened the pedestrian bridge at Alakbere Estate bus stop on the third Miller Ridge access for public use. Special advisor to the Governor on Infrastructure, Ulufemi Damala, said Governor Babajide Sonwulu gave the directive to open the bridge based on the high premium the state government placed on the safety of lives of the people. An inspection was carried out on the bridge by a team comprising Lagos State Government officials from the Office of Infrastructure and the contractors was able was to determine its fitness for continued public use. Daramala urged pedestrians and commuters to see the gesture of the governor as responsive and timely. Meanwhile, pedestrians, road users and residents in the area also applauded the state's government for being proactive in ways and sharing the safety of lives of citizens. It also it will be recorded that the bridge was damaged by the impact of a container-laden truck that tried to maneuver under the bridge bearing a load that was far beyond the provided headroom of the bridge, thereby causing a negative impact to both vehicular traffic and the pedestrian users of the bridge. That's it on the State News at 7, but just before we go, maintain adequate distance from the vehicle ahead of you to avoid collision. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms. X at Traffic Radio 961, Facebook, 
Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, Instagram Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe on award journeys and uh, programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that's the Songulu administration organized a mentorship seminar for over 1,000 youth under theme Agripreneur Strategy for Wealth Creation? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. For contacts with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That ends the news broadcast compiled by Kaudi Mafola Sheri. I am Taiwo Barua. Thank you for listening. Good evening. Up next is second leg of return trip with Sarah Adesoya. Stick around, Lagos.